In this video, I'm going to show you how to mask a car up for paint. But the car we're doing is an ST Focus. There is some like tricky areas, like the trim edges. So basically, like I'm going to show you the, the trick of the trade, how we can mask it for like minimize the paint edge. So I hope you enjoy the video. And now we're driving the car in the booth now from the prep area. Once it's in the booth, we kind of like get the air blower and blow off all the dust because it's been sitting outside. Uh, we've got a lot of dust attracts to the vehicle, so we blow it off to get rid of it. Once we blow off as much as we can on the vehicle, we use a slow degreaser to um, wipe it down for all the contamination that's been sitting outside, like uh, grease and all that. Once all the panels covered with solvent degreaser, I use this blue wipe called Crow's Root to take off all the um, solvent off the vehicle. The, this wipe is amazing, you should try it. It's called Crow's Root. Now, um, to mask up the trim on the um, ST on the windscreens, we use this 3M, this product here. Basically, this product is a uh, it's like got a hard edge on it and it's got more sticky stuff on the side on the, on the, like next to it. So you push it down and then you pull it back. So uh, yeah, so let's show you how, see down the, uh, the rubbers here, you can lift off. If you mask it up incorrectly, you leave an edge. To eliminate that problem, uh, see this, you peel off. I've got to try to do it with one hand. Good to so tuck it in there. Trying to do it with one hand is quite hard. And then we pull it back. Voila. And then stick it down. And then that way paint gets in down there and your trim is safe. Let me finish this off. And this is what it looks like if you've done the whole length of the screen. Obviously down here, I've got to do the same down here. So it gives you an idea. Right guys, down here, we um, back masked it. What back mask is, is like, see the tape there, all sticky side, you tuck it, oh, tuck it in there like that. And then that way, and you get the other tape, tape on top like this. And that way, paint goes in there. So it's less edge. Inside the door shut, I've um, back folded the tape on the second recess because the first recess um, is a bit dry. So we um, back mask on the second recess. So when the clear coat goes in, it should take that dry edge out a bit. And also, back of the doors is all masked up. And this bit here, we need to back mask it because this trim here, because there's no way you can like mark, there's no way you can mask it in this trim. So I'll show you the back masking. Right, the back masking. So back mask it onto that lip, and then we shut the door. My careful with the uh, door. Double check all the masking tape is actually over this plastic rubber. So when you shut the door, then you just get it tight. Just tape it like that. And then peel the tape back. as best you can, like that. And then, voila. Let me finish this off to the next one. Next step. skin's all completed, see? Always on a lip. So when you paint it, pull that off, it'll be a nice flow of paint going in there. And now the ST is all masked up, ready for paint. Uh, the paint we're using is actually Custom paints. Custom paint don't do j 
just custom paints, they do like an OEM range. The video's to an end now. I hope you enjoyed um, some of the tricks of the trade in the paint shop body side about how back masking works and all that. I hope you guys um, like this video. If you do, please like, share, subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.